Hey loves, welcome to my channel, Chantal Gerardi here. Thank you so much for tuning into this video and happy new year. Um, I think today is like the 9th or let me just check. Um, yeah, it's the 9th of uh, January 2021. Um, we thank God that we were able to make it up to this point actually so very thankful and happy new year to you everyone uh thank you so much for tuning into this video um i think the last um lessons video i did was in 2019 and i did 25 or 24 things that i learned 25 things at 25 or 25 lessons so today is just going to be 10 lessons that i learned in 2020 and um not to say that i didn't know these things um beforehand but just basically the fact that these lessons really shone out or they were really really like stamped into my brain more so 2020 than any other year so i had to write them down in my journal um because i am actually using my phone to record so um oh i had written down, them down in my notes and i wanted to transfer them into my journal so i definitely will do that after my after recording this video so without further yada yada let's get into this video <laughs> So, the first lesson that I learned in 2020 was we plan and God laughs. Like, guys, I literally thought that 2020 was the year that I was going to kill it. I had just finished university, found um, myself back in Zimbabwe, got a couple of jobs, job experiences. I was going around enjoying my first you know um you're just a fresh out of like a fresh graduate and stuff like that in 2019 and i thought 2020 i had so much that i had learned and that i wanted to apply in 2020 and i was just ready to smash my goals and you know we make all these plans we pray about them and god just says i have met for you and you're dreaming small darling and that's exactly what happened um in the sense that everything that I thought I knew, literally I knew nothing. And 2020 just taught me that, that everything that I thought I had learned in 2019 and I was ready for, uh, 2020 was a different beast. And that was just the first lesson that I did learn. And definitely um, it goes on to my second lesson. And my second lesson was be adjustable i know we make all these plans and we write them down and we have strategies we've got tasks that we're going to just execute so that we get to our goals but then if life says plot twist we need to be able to adjust and i feel like 2020 was just like a huge wrong turn a huge plot twist that nobody ever thought they were going to take and it just showed us that we need to be adjustable. We know that our goal at the end of the day is A, B, C, but if we cannot find A, B, C, D, e, F, G, H, I, so many multiple ways to get there, we are going to struggle. And that's just basically what 2020 was. We ha all had things that we wanted to do, and then we actually didn't like plan to say, okay, what if it doesn't happen this way? Or what if you're going to reach your goal, but it doesn't take the usual route or you know the thing that we're used to the most and i feel like 2020 was just telling us that we need to adjust we need to be able to say oh a didn't work out so i'm gonna try b i'm gonna try c i'm gonna try d I'm, there's so many infinite ways that you can try to reach your goals or to actually just turn ship and find another route find another path find another goal so my second lesson was to just really be adjustable you know and to not always just be rigid um the third lesson was death is final this was such a sobering sad lesson and not that i lost anyone who was really close to me thank god but my friends and people that i love and care about did lose 
their loved ones, their families, their friends, and the finality of it all that you are never ever going to see this person again you are never going to be able to talk to them you're never ever going to be able to like ring them up and meet up with them there's just the finality it's done there is no coma there is no three full stops or a cliffhanger it's just final and i feel like that lesson was the saddest lesson that i had to learn because that means no take backs no i wish i did this i wish i did that and i feel like we all need to to live our lives knowing that when death comes we're not gonna get a second shot at anything so go for it start the youtube channel start the blog start the business apply for the job apply for the visa shoot your shot like because when you're gone, you are not going to be like, oh God, I need to go back half time, second half, because I forgot to do this. So death is final, therefore go for it. Um, the fourth lesson was, you can never say I love you, I appreciate you, and I thank you enough. I know when people do things for us, we just say, oh, thank you, or oh, I love you, or the I love you comes when it's like a special moment. And I feel like with the third lesson, this is not enough, guys. We literally need to be like, after you're off the phone with your friend, the last words you say is, I love you, or I appreciate you, or thank you so much for just being my friend, or I love you, or I love you, mom, I love you, dad, I love you, sis, I love you, bro. Like, we honestly don't say these things enough. And I feel like one of the biggest regrets that we have when people do pass on or when we don't have a chance to do it anymore is to tell people just how much we appreciate them. We don't give people their flowers while they're still alive. We want to go pack them onto their tombstone when they're dead. And I feel like that should not be the way that we live. We need to literally be able to say I love you and it'd be so natural just coming out of us. I know a lot of us, especially if we were raised in African households, and I know a lot of um, new parents, um, modern parents, or parents of our generation are trying to change that. But we didn't grow up with it, like most of us didn't grow up with that much affection around us. So saying I love you or saying I appreciate you, thank you so much, are things that, you know, don't just come naturally to us. But I feel like we need to cultivate that culture where we just give people their flowers while they can still smell them. So you can never say I love you enough. You can never say thank you enough. You can never say I appreciate you enough. So please, if you thought you had done it, do it some more. <laughs> um my fifth lesson was you're too broke to save but you're never too broke to save <laughs> i feel like a lot of us lost a lot of income when 2020 came especially if you're in zimbabwe it's a country where you really can't save because you save today your savings are gone even though they're in the bank tomorrow so we really don't have like a saving culture because our bills we're literally leaving hand to mouth like our bill is going to be paid by our next check there is no oh this check is going towards my savings or this is going towards my life insurance or this is going towards my funeral policy or this is going towards my investments we really not a lot of us a lot of us don't have that luxury but 2020 just told us that you may be earning five dollars in a month you need to save maybe 15% of that $5. Even though you think you're too broke to do it, just do it because your savings are gonna take you through very, very hard times. We were all in lockdown. We all didn't have sources of income and we couldn't do the hand to mouth because literally everything was shut down. And you will find that scraping and just trying to get your matani, it's not a good feeling. So definitely just have savings. Even if you think, oh, man this is cutting into my live amount of money just take a little bit of that little that you have you are broke but you're not broke enough to not save so take a little bit of that even if it's just a dollar even if it's just five rands even if it's just 10 rands take that little put it aside and just save it you will definitely thank yourself when a rainy day comes and 2020 was like a rainy year it wasn't even just a day so yeah um you're too broke to save but you're never too broke to save um, and the next lesson is life is too short 
tell them to fuck off respectfully <laughs> okay for me this lesson basically was just because we spend so much time just giving so many chances to people that don't deserve us we give so much leeway for people to hurt us and disrespect us and we also just give so much thought to people who don't like let us be our real selves and i feel that that is very very dangerous because you're not allowed to express yourself not allowed to be who you are freely and genuinely because you're scared of what the next person is going to think or you feel like you hold them in such a high regard and you just want to project a, a certain person or a certain character when it comes to these people or is just somebody who just really does not respect you and they do so much they say so much that hurts you and that doesn't make you feel like the bad bitch that you are or the good human person human being that you are so i feel like tell them to fuck off honestly life is too short for you to be living for other people life is too short for you to just be considering other people's feelings when they don't consider yours and you know you don't have to have these people in your life like seriously you feel like you're gonna die without them how are you gonna feel guys that will only last like a week and after that week you're going to be fine like honestly and you will realize that you will be living look at you living and doing everything that you wanted to do in the first place like just be yourself and just be around people who allow you to be your genuine self and anyone else can fuck off respectfully got it um it's all just vanity i feel like 2020 was a very good equalizer because everyone regardless of the copious amount of money that they have or the access that they have or the connections that they have everyone was humbled by 2020 does not matter who you are doesn't matter your ranking in life we were all just equal in this whole situation and i feel like it just reminds you what is important and that everything else is just vanity we're chasing these jobs we're chasing these goals we're chasing to get this we're chasing to get that but at the end of the day all we really want is good health a peace of mind happiness and just people who love us around us and those are things that you need to realize are gifts from god and they're free of charge they are literally free of charge but with that being said with everything just being van be with everything just being vanity live how you want to live at the end of the day nothing will matter but how you lived how you feel how you experienced life how you went through life was it on your terms was it doing things that you love was it doing things that made you feel alive if it's getting that g-wagon and it'll make you feel alive then do that if it's wearing that gucci shirt with your gucci pants and your gucci belt and your gucci shoes and your gucci cap then do exactly that as long as it makes you feel happy even though it's all vanity and it's all things that we're going to leave here but if we are in the now and in the now if, if that is what matters to you then live life how you want to live that. Hope I'm making sense of that one. Um, there will never be another 5 April 2020. I just picked a random date. And that was literally because I'm never gonna get this moment again. I am never going to get this moment ever again. So let's cherish every second we're alive, every minute, every hour, every day that we're alive, that we're on this earth. It may feel like oh it's such a drag life's this life is that but i feel like we all go into life without a feeling of great gratitude other people were not able to see this day other people were not able to get the chance that you got someone didn't even live to seven past one even though they were alive at six past one of 9 january 2021 so honestly just remind yourself just you're not going to get this moment again if there's something that you want to do go for it if there's something that you want to say please say it if there's one thing that you need to eat eat it like you're never going to get this chance again you're never going to get this moment again so make sure you live it fully and you're in the moment you're 
you're there. I think that's the best way to say it. <laughs> you're not just cruising through life. You're there. You're actually here. So, yeah. And then the last night lesson was forgive. <laughs> and I wrote this in all caps. I feel like we are held by the bondage and chains of the hurt in our hearts that people caused and we haven't fully let it go so we still live with it and every time we think about it our heart races our emotions flare up and we're suddenly taken back to that time where we felt so much pain or whatever it was disappointment regret or whatever it is we don't fully let people go by forgiving them so even if it's closure that you want and you never got it just allow yourself to forgive that person and allow yourself to forgive yourself for just allowing that person to hold so much power over you and let it go and also just be able to apologize with you being able to forgive other people also be able to forgive you so I feel like that's the Lord's Prayer but also it's just reality man when you let go of hurt, other people are also letting go of the hurt that you've caused them. We're not all the angels in every story. Unfortunately, even though we want to be, we are a villain in someone else's story. And just pray for forgiveness. Pray that you are able to forgive people that hurt you and disappointed you. And just pray that people that you have hurt and disappointed are able to forgive you. I feel like 2020 just showed us that a lot doesn't matter, you know, and... You want to go through life light, not just carrying the grudge from third grade, the crush who never called you back, the one who ghosted you, the one who cheated, the one who hurt you, the one who stole from you, the one who said something bad about you. We hold, we carry all this weight and let it go. Forgive and just let it go. And then the last lesson that I learned in 2020 was we all deserve love kindness and compassion no matter what we have done on this earth we are all all deserving god's love god's mercy is unearned unfavored and unmerited you cannot earn it even if you try so hard you cannot and i feel like that's just how we are supposed to be as humans people shouldn't earn our love shouldn't be based on merit just love people just Forgive people, be kind, regardless of their station and ranking in life, regardless of who they are, just be kind to people. Even the people that say all these, abs- like Twitter showed me, gosh, the last two lessons, Twitter showed me, like I was always enraged, but just so many people, thoughtless people, so many crass people and things that they say, and you just realize at the end of the day that regardless of just how crazy they sound they all deserve kindness and when you approach them or when you say something to them or you tweet back say it out of kindness out of love out of compassion you know what i mean just be the person who chooses to love because i think just being the person who chooses to just wake up with so much violence and anger and hatred yo guys that's a task (laughs) that is such a task and you really don't need that so just be loving be kind be compassionate especially compassionate i feel like a lot of us when we especially on social media when we engage with people we we don't engage with compassion we don't engage with just empathy it's all i am trying to prove a point and i'm gonna let you finish but and then you say whatever it is that you want to say but you don't actually process what somebody's trying to say you don't actually ask follow-up questions before you unleash the wrath on people and i feel like that's a lot of us even with even when we say it's just banter you don't know how people are going to take it you don't know how people are set up you know a lot of us are dealing with so much trauma that the way that you use trauma allows you to use sarcasm to cope someone else uses defense to cope so they will not take your sarcasm lightly because already they've been taught to fight so even if it's just sarcasm they might not get it so just be compassionate be kind be loving in everything that you do so those were my 10 lessons please let me know in the comment section down below what 
lesson spoke to you or what you learned um in 2020 i would love to know and maybe there are some that i forgot that i'll be like oh yeah you're right you're right sis so definitely comment engage with me in the comment section down below i can't wait to hear from you guys and i hope you guys enjoy this video as much as i did filming it um yeah and i'm gonna go write these babies down in my journal <laughs> and yeah thank you guys so much for tuning in i appreciate it and as always guys be kind to one another and love and light